If you get a chance to get up in those mountains, you'll see things that money can't buy. You'll see God. Here at Seeger Co., we believe in working hard and building a bond around the outdoor community. That's why these trips have never been about a product, but about celebrating the skillful people who master the outdoors and implement the ideals we love most. Each time we head out, we meet the most honest, skillful, and admirable people from all walks of life. It's never mattered what our background was or where we came from. These people have always embraced us and taught us the respect for the land they live on and the way of life they cherish. It's only right that we pass on that sentiment of reverence and always leave the land better than when we arrived, because it's no secret that time spent in nature will do a man good. One of the things that I've kind of found since moving here is just how integrated everyone is with the land and their environment. The land is kind of the playground. Woo! That's nice. That's real nice. And we can love stuff to death, as you know, as is the popular saying, which is so true. In turn, you kind of gain a lot of respect for it and a lot of care for it. So it kind of becomes this, hopefully, this relationship of each caring for the other. I think it is bringing people out of their comfort zone and making people say like, hey, I can go do that, as long as they leave with a sense of respect for what they found out there. Public land has served as sort of a lifeblood to these remote mountain towns for decades. Their importance to the homegrown communities that live here and the example of harmony between nature and man is a thing to be celebrated. We've been here for 41 years and to experience the hardships but also the victory. It was it was real life. You got rewarded for hard work. What more could I want? So. That is still to say that visitors have a responsibility of their own. And we call this the punchline. You see where all these bubbles are? Yeah. So these bubbles are kicking back. You want to fish on the inside of the punchline? Okay. Because that's where the fish are drunk. Out of that, I hope they leave this area with a respect for what we have down here and how it's just a great place to reconnect with the land. It's kind of trying to find that balance of how can we love a resource, utilize it, share it with everyone without totally ruining the thing that we loved in the first place. But. Bringing in new people from out of town and seeing their excitement for even the small things, it's, it's nice to feed off that. Made it. We got this full experience where we felt like we're just in a whole new community learning all these new things and meeting people and then you come home and you bring that with you. All the people that we've met, like whether it be Austin or Brad or David, none of us have ever whitewater rafted before. Yeah. Like, the joy on everyone's face when you actually see them like in their element is pretty crazy. We finally have some light. I think we're all super duper sunburned. It feels good outside. Everyone's frisky. <laughs> That's yeah, probably the best tuck and roll I've ever done. Yeah, for sure. That's good. Yeah. To really be connected, you have to be able to get out of town and go up there in the hills and at least spend one night in the mountains. Man, clear skies. This land, built on the backs of miners in search of riches, may look different from the uncharted wilderness it once was, but there's still gold in these mountains. Maybe it's in a conversation with a local rancher or bushwhacking down an old pack train. One thing is certain, spend some time out there among the people who cherish this land most. You'll see how this country still glows.